Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. So uh, today, uh, my reading is, is, is coming out of, uh, this, is, uh, it, this covers uh, Proverbs 2, 1 through 22. So uh, people, don't, don't let, uh, follow your internal guidance system. Don't, don't allow what you know, people think of you deter you from following that, that inner part of you telling you what direction to take because they can't give you what God gives you. They can't give you what following that eternal guidance system is telling you to do. And what is that eternal guidance system? That's Holy Spirit. We all have Holy Spirit inside of us. You know, that, 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 it, that knowing inside of us when we're getting ready to make a decision that, that, that we, uh, that, that's going to be negative for us. And we all got that. Because, you, you know, just like me, I know whenever I'm getting ready to make a, a, a negative decision, I know it. You know, there's a deep inside of me. And so that's that internal guidance system. Follow that. You know, sometimes it will go against what, what, you know, someone, you know, thinks, but, but they can't give you what God gives you. So, you know, to the, you know, be true to who you are, you know, and because when you do that, you get closer to God. And when you get closer to God, you open up, you know, those, those, uh, storehouses of, of love and, and peace and joy and power and insight. And, and man can't give you that. This world can't give you that, but, uh, God can. And God will, you know, all you have to do is just uh, open that door and, 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 and let it fall in on you. Praise God, because it's right there. It's all piled up at your door. All you got to do is open that door and let it fall in. Praise God. And uh, and also, too, uh, you open up and, and, and especially, you know, when you uh, accept King Jesus, uh, you got everlasting life and, and of joy, love and peace and, 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 and contentment. But you don't have that. You keep following this world and, and, and Satan, you know, and, and the God and the little G of this world, world, you know. So, uh, but anyway, we go on with the reading here. We will also come to see the negative influences of associating with people who are still living the kind of life from which we are trying to escape. God will help you escape. It. You turn to him, you know, prayer, meditation, you know, and, and, and following that eternal God system. Part of self inventory may include considering those with whom we choose to spend our time and how these decisions contribute to our progress in recovery. We're all recovering from something. Uh, Jesus is the only one that didn't have something to recover from. And, you know, the rest of us, you know, we got stuff to work on. You know, you can deny it all you want, but, uh, but uh, denial, don't, don't, don't take it away. It's still there. Be, you know, be real with it and, and get the gifts out of doing that, that inner work. Praise God. In Proverbs, we are told that wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Uh, God said, you know, if you turn your back to wisdom and knowledge, you're a fool. So don't be a fool. Praise God. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom will save you from evil people, from those whose words are twisted. These men turn from the right way to walk down a dark and evil path. They take pleasure in doing wrong, and they enjoy the twisted ways of evil. That's Proverbs uh, 2, uh, 10 through 14. We are encouraged to follow the steps of the good and stay on the path of the righteous. For only the good, for only the godly will live in, in the land, and those who have integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be removed from the land, and the treacherous will be uprooted. That covers Proverbs 2, 20, 22. Are, are we exercising wisdom by following the steps of those who are living the kind of life we truly desire? If we do this, we will find our lives filled with joy. Get that joy, y'all. It's available, you know, if you don't have it, that's, that's a choice you made. All you got to do is just uh, look at, you know, the choices that you make. Look at yourself. Don't blame somebody else. You know, if we blame somebody else, you know, it's hard. It's hard to fix it. But if we take, you know, responsibility for our stuff, then, you know, uh, it, it's fixable. But, you know, if we wait for someone else to change, uh, you, you might be waiting for it. They might never change. <laughs> but you can change. Uh, God gives us that power. So don't give your power away. Claim your power. Make those changes. Get that joy, get that love, get that everlasting life, and roll with Jesus.
We get on the winning team. Praise God. We will also be spared the loss and destruction that awaits those who continue down darkened pathways and do not enter into recovery. So enter, enter into recovery. Like I say, you know, one of the uh, the biggest uh, addictions that, you know, people have that, you know, that people don't want to look at is is the ego. You know, and that, that, that's, uh, that's Satan's, you know, domain. Well, he, that thing is tricky. You know, sometimes, you know, it, it, it aligns, you know, with the truth. But a lot of times, you know, it, it, it won't, you know. And, and, and uh, it's hard to break and it's painful, but it's doable. And truth does that. Truth will tear that ego apart. But, you know, when you follow truth and you allow your ego to be deflated, you know, you, you're open up to, to your other 90% of who you are, you know, your spiritual side. And, you know, it's just like Jesus said, you know, things I do, you can do it more. So there's more that you can do, but it's being held back by, you know, the beliefs that we have, that, you know, we've been taught to believe. You know, just because I'm taught something or something's in a book, don't necessarily make it, make it true. But when you test it, God said, test the spirit. Just like Harold told me, he said, question everything. He said, the uh, truth is the only thing that could withstand questioning. So, you know, don't be afraid to question uh, because, you know, it would always lead you to the truth. So, and, and Holy Spirit is the truth. Jesus brought the truth and it all falls under the umbrella of love. So, you know, let love reign in your life. But anyway, that's all I have today, family. There's no relationship greater than the one with our loving and glorious creator. Let love reign in your life. Thank you for watching. God bless you. I love you and have a blessed day. Bye.